This video is brought to you by Sporlin. American made, American strong. What's going on guys? So first of all, I want to emphasize that this is not supposed to be just an all out bashing video of a manufacturer. I'm not really one to do that typically, but I do have some issues with my field piece SC660. And if I'm gonna be out there on YouTube and social media advocating for products when they're working well for me, the flip side of that is I've gotta be honest with everybody when I have one that maybe has some issues that need to be addressed. So essentially what we've got here is the Cadillac of field piece meters, right? The SC660, it's humongous. It's got all kinds of features on it that you don't typically see on other multimeters, okay? So it has a lot of features that typically have their own dedicated meter for, such as phase rotation, such as frequency reading. And in the last two months, I've had three incidents now with those specialty features, okay? Two of those incidents were in the last three days, okay? So it's worth bringing up. About two months ago, I was doing a VRF commissioning job in Louisville, Kentucky, and although I didn't need to, I decided to play around and try out the frequency feature which according to field piece when it's in that setting you can actually use the amp clamp to clamp around a live wire on an inverter driven load and see the live reading of frequency or hertz so i did that and um there was like a 60 70 hertz difference between what the meter was saying and what the equipment was saying because there is a digital readout on the outdoor equipment as well as live data from the service checker tool on my laptop. So when it was compared against the meter, we had a huge discrepancy. Kind of figured I was probably doing something wrong. I called tech support and I was told to change the batteries and that from what I told him, I was doing everything right as far as taking an accurate reading. So that was the first thing. Two days ago, I almost lost a compressor. Brand new install. Uh, about an hour before startup, I used the phase rotation feature to check my phasing. The meter told me we were phased backwards. Okay, so I went ahead and I swapped two leads. Sure enough, I went right back and tested again, and the meter told me I was now good and phased correctly. About an hour later, we start the equipment up. Sure enough, it's backwards. And before I even had a chance to do anything, that compressor opened up, it overheated. Internal overload. Had to wait until the next morning to start the equipment again. After swapping the leads back to their original connection, equipment ran like a dream. So that meter almost costed me a scroll compressor. Okay, that was only a day or two ago. And now I stand here after hours on a Friday on a Daikin heat recovery VRV3 piece of equipment. I'm sitting here looking over some unrelated items on the service checker. And I thought, you know what? Let's give this meter one more shot. Let's go ahead and see how it stacks up against another manufacturer in another part of the state. Fresh slate, fresh slate. Let's see how it reads. I did it again, and I'll show you what we got. Let's go ahead and check out the equipment so you can see for yourselves. Right over here.
Revolution, 66 RPS. Now, Daikin uses RPS. I believe that's revolutions per minute. They just changed the nomenclature, but that's our frequency. So it's running at 66 hertz. Uh, let's go ahead and see what the field piece shows us. This is a useful function for the meter. If we have a, you know, 65 revolutions per second difference between the equipment and the tool. Now I'm not gonna blame the logic in the Daikin board as being defective because this is the second time now I've had almost the same discrepancy and it was with a different manufacturer. So another manufacturer of VRF equipment showed one frequency and uh, the meter was again about 60 to 80 hertz off okay and actually now i don't know if you heard the change in tone from the compressors but we just dropped to 26 so we just went down 60 percent okay we went from 66 down to 26 hertz the, the fuel piece uh, sensed a change as well and went down to 62. So again, the calibration is, is ridiculously off um, from the factory on this. This meter is not damaged. It's not been um, mistreated. It's been maintained. Batteries are new. So again, uh, again, this is not to necessarily tell people don't buy fuel piece. Um, this is not a bashing video. I am frustrated. I would like some kind of resolution to it. I'll be uh, calling them again and maybe sending them this video or sending them the link to it if I post it on YouTube. And um, hopefully we'll figure something out from it. excited about this meter I've always used a fluke 902 um, but what I will tell you is the 902 is going back in my bag uh, for the time being until we figure something out because the features on that meter were very exciting for me the 660 uh, specifically because it, it lends itself to somebody that does a lot of VRF commissioning and startups okay you've got a phase rotation uh, feature as well as the frequency feature which really excited me i mean the idea of just using an amp clamp to be able to uh check your inverter driven compressors that that was a i don't think any other meter has a advertised feature like that unless it's dedicated to it so having it all in one meter was very exciting that said i i've got to say i'm very disappointed um, and let down by this tool. It's been taken very well care of. Uh, the batteries have been changed. It's not the batteries. So um, the other features work okay. You know, volts, amps, all that. I've, I've stacked that up simultaneously against other meters that I have. My flukes, my amp probes, they're always within a reasonable range of each other. It's just a lot of these specialty features have been a big disappointment. And that's really all I have to say about that for now. But again, instead of running it over with my van, which is what my full intention was this morning after that phase rotation mishap occurred, I'm gonna hold on to it. I'm gonna reach out to Field Piece again, maybe talk to somebody different, see if we can get to the bottom of it, and I'll come back to you guys with a resolution if one comes about. In the meantime, Fluke, you're back in my bag. Thanks guys for watching, stay safe. We'll see you on the next one. Yeah.